So in this video, I'm gonna show you everything that you need to know when it comes to running ads on Instagram. Now, look, Instagram's owned by Facebook, and so if you're interested in running ads on this platform, you could do it through Instagram, through the app, or what I would suggest doing, and what I'm gonna show you in this video, is how to actually run uh, uh, Instagram ads through the Facebook Ads Manager, okay? And so that's how we're gonna do it for this video. Uh, if you are familiar with Instagram, I'm gonna assume that you already are, but it is one of the most popular social media platforms in the world, uh, and so uh, we're gonna discuss that in this video on how we can run ads with this. Uh, we do talk about Facebook ads, Google ads, YouTube ads, everything else on this channel as well. So if you're new here and you wanna learn more about running ads on some of these different platforms, on these social platforms uh, then make sure you hit the subscribe button uh, and let's just get started with this video we're gonna try to break this down as simple as possible here uh, and first of all let me just show you the different types of ads that we can run and then talk about some of the pros and cons of each one of those different types of ads that we could put on Instagram and then how we can implement those to to really get the highest uh, rate of return for whatever we might be doing for these ads okay so this is actually just business.instagram.com this is part of their website uh, and this kind of goes over some of the different ads that you can run on their platform. Uh, so the first one here that we're gonna see is stories ads, right? And this is actually kind of a newer type of ad that we've seen on Instagram. Obviously, Instagram's been around since I believe 2011, 2012, uh, around then is when it started. And so stories didn't come around until much later, probably about, I'm gonna take a guess if I can remember correctly, probably about 2016, maybe 2015, stories came out on Instagram, right? And so you can actually run ads in between stories for Instagram, so they're much longer, they're the size of somebody's phone, most likely, uh, and a lot of companies do like to run these ads. I'm gonna show you how to do this uh, in this video, and then we're gonna look at some different types as well. So photo ads, just basic photo ads in the feed, okay? So when you're scrolling down and you see an ad that comes across here, uh, this is just a singular photo. Uh, this can be effective. You could get a pretty uh, low uh, a CPC for this, but we're gonna talk about that. Uh, then we're gonna talk about video ads within the feed as well. So this is not stories, this is uh, within the actual feed that you're scrolling through, and this can be up to 60 seconds long for a video ad. Uh, now, there are some other options as well. So carousel ads, this is one of my favorites. I think this, this only really uh, is, is going to be applicable if it's the case where maybe uh, you're doing e-commerce, for example, and you have a product like these shoes here. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. Uh, we're probably just gonna do a mock uh, uh, ads for some shoes later on in this video but this is great for showing a product, displaying a product, or maybe uh, you are a real estate agent and you wanna show a house, right? And so you can make this carousel ad where it is within the feed and it is photos, but they can swipe and see a number of different photos, different perspectives. Uh, so this is something that can be very effective as well. And it is one of my favorites. It's the one that we would likely use most often in a lot of cases. So then we also have something called collection ads. This is something that I've seen to be a little bit uh, newer to. And so uh, this is, for example, here we're looking at Ashley Home Store, right? They're selling furniture. So once again, a lot of products that you might be selling, something that you want to display, a number of different products. Uh, this could be a great option for you. But then there's one other here, uh, which is another thing that I saw relatively new. Uh, it's It's been around for a little while, but I didn't see it on this Instagram business advertising page until recently. Uh, and that is actually having ads in the Explore page. So uh, this would be very similar to the other ads that you'd create for Instagram. But when you go over to this tab, to the little magnifying glass here, your ads will be showing up in the Explore page, which could be very effective. Now, what I'm gonna do today in this video is we're gonna go over to Facebook's Ads Manager and we're gonna walk through every step of the process of setting up those Instagram ads. But I think what's incredible about this is that when we're using social media marketing, you can essentially target very, very specific people. So if you are, uh, say, uh, you are a company that does uh, tourism attractions in your local area, in your local city, right? Let's say Philadelphia, and you, you, you give tours of the city, right? You can target Philadelphia, you can target that specific city, and then you can target people who are just visiting that city, but are in the city at the moment. It's incredible the types of demographics that we can tap into and, and really kind of focus on. Uh, and so let's get over to that. So let's go over to Facebook right now, actually. Uh, and I'm gonna assume that you have a Facebook account. If you don't, just go and create one. Uh, and once you're on your Facebook account, it's actually pretty easy to get into the ads manager. So uh, this is the, the front page of Facebook here for my account. 
And all we're going to have to do is go up over to create. So if you can see where my mouse is, uh, it's, it's right up in the sort of upper right hand corner of the screen. Uh, and you click on create right here. Okay, so it, it's right after Nate and home. Here is create. Okay, so we're going to click on create. And then we have a number of different things we can create. Well, we're going to go for an ad. And this is actually going to launch us into our Facebook ads manager. Okay, and so let's just wait for this to load. All right, so it just loaded and you're going to see something that looks like this and you know, it can look a little bit complicated at first, but don't get overwhelmed with it. Trust me, we've done these ads for Google and YouTube and, and uh, various other platforms. And you're going to notice a common trend that if you look on the left side of the screen here, uh, when you open up your Facebook ads manager, you're going to see uh, three things. You're going to see campaign and then you're going to see another block here, which is ad set. And then you're going to see another block here, which is ads. So if you're ever running ads on say Google or many other platforms, it's going to be very, very similar to this. Okay, so you first create your campaign, then you create an ad set within that campaign, then you create an ad within that. Okay, and so what we're first going to do is create our very first campaign. This is going to be pretty simple to set up, and then we're going to decide what Instagram ad we believe would be most effective for us. Now, you need to keep in mind that whenever running ads, there's something called split testing and A-B testing, and this is really important to understand because I think the problem that people face when they run ads on Instagram or any other social media platform is they think that this, this one ad that they create is going to be the end-all be-all ad for them, and it's going to make them so much money or drive so much traffic to their business. But the truth is, uh, in just about every case, and professional marketers do this every day, they will do split testing. They'll do A-B testing. So the first ad that you create for Instagram might not be the best one. The key here is to create multiple different ads, okay? So you create three or four or five different ads, see which one is performing best, then start to tweak that ad, and then test the tweaked ad versus the non-tweaked ad, and continue to tweak it until you get higher and higher and higher conversion rates or more sales or more leads by kind of modifying that ad. So that's what we're gonna have to do to really make sure that we're getting the most optimal return on our investment when we're using the Facebook ads platform to drive traffic uh, with Instagram ads. Okay, so let's go down to our marketing objective. You're going to see so many different options here. Uh, what we're going to do for this case is we're just going to go for traffic. Now you will want to think about how you're actually doing this and what your objective is here because uh, if you just want brand awareness or if you just want more video views, then this will likely not cost you as much per view uh, versus something like app installs, which is a little bit more difficult to get people to convert on. So you do want to make sure that you're doing this correctly and, and go with something that uh, is the true reasoning for why you want to actually run these ads on Instagram. So for this, we're going to go traffic and we're going to click traffic and it's going to take us down to this page here. So now we're going to scroll down and let's just create our campaign name here. So for this, let's call it traffic. Uh, let's say that we're selling shoes. Okay. Um, and this is campaign number one. This is just arbitrary. We're making this up as we go, but I'm sure you have something to sell or promote your business in some way, or maybe your own personal Instagram account. I've seen people grow their Instagrams by just running ads on that. It, it can work. We'll talk about that uh, in the future. Now, creating split testing, we're going to do this later, um, but this is something that is important from my point of view to do split testing, A-B testing, uh, and then let's set our campaign budget. So first of all, $100 a day, probably not what we're going to do. Most people, that would probably bankrupt them pretty quickly if we're running $100 a day in ads. But even if you have a pretty big bankroll where maybe you have a few thousand dollars to spend on ads or $10,000, $100,000 to spend on ads, I wouldn't suggest doing it all right away. Because as I said earlier, you're going to want to start to tweak and to modify your ad to see what performs best. So the whole point here in the first really few weeks uh, is to kind of test different types of ads and see how they perform. So our daily budget, we do not want $100 a day. We're going to go for something a lot more reasonable and let's say $10 a day, okay? So $10 a day is probably a pretty good rate. Uh, if you find yourself with not too much money available at the moment, maybe go $5 a day. If you go any lower than $5 a day, you might find that it's gonna be difficult to actually get data uh, to, to see how well the ad is actually performing because you're not getting that much traffic, you're not getting that many clicks. Uh, and so I would suggest doing anything between five and $25 a day to start to run these ads, to start to learn the basics of them. And then we can kind of go more in depth on it. Now we can click on show more options just to see what we're looking at here. Uh, our campaign bid strategy 
lowest cost. That's definitely what we want to go for. You can edit that to see some different options that are available. Uh, so we can look at, you know, if we want to get a uh, cost cap or other options, but we're just going to go with lowest cost for now. Uh, and then do we want to run ads all the time. Maybe you don't want to run ads all the time. Sometimes people uh, want to only run ads during business hours because let's say that they are a real estate agent and they are running ads on Instagram for a property that they're trying to sell. And if they run an ad at three in the morning or 4 a.m. and they're sleeping and they get a, a potential lead from somebody who wants to call them, it, it's just going to be very weird. And maybe they could leave a voice message or something. But uh, I know a lot of people who want to just run ads during the workday, for example, uh, or, or during daylight hours, business hours, so that they're able to get leads and actual physical phone calls. Um, and that's just something you do want to consider. Okay, so let's click continue here. Let's move on to the next page. All right, so this is where it gets fun. Uh, we're gonna start looking into the actual ad set, okay? And so first of all, let's just rewrite our ad set name. So let's just make it ad set number one, just so we don't get confused here. And then let's start to look over what we actually wanna do. So uh, where do we want to drive our traffic to? Well, let's just drive it to our website, right? Let's, let's drive it to our website where we are selling shoes. That's the example that we're gonna to use today. Obviously, if you have an app or even Messenger, you can get people to, uh, if you have an Instagram ad, and then you, you can have it go right into Facebook Messenger and you start to have a conversation with somebody. I've seen that work really well for people. WhatsApp works as well. Uh, so for this, we're gonna click on website traffic. Now, this is the, the ad set. So this is actually where we're actually uh, deciding who we are going for, who we are trying to target for an ad. So if you look over here to the right, you're gonna see this little meter, looks like a gas gauge, right? And it says audience size. Right now, our audience size is 230 million people, 230 potential people that may be reached from this ad. Now, that's pretty large. That's almost the size of America. It's two thirds the size of America. That's probably a little bit too big unless, of course, we're selling something that's e-commerce or it's nationwide and we don't really care about who's buying our product. Men, women, uh, you don't care about their, their income, their age, then you could keep it pretty broad. Uh, you want to realize that uh, if, if you keep your audience rather broad, uh, you're going to see that in, in general, you're going to be paying less per view than you would if you were trying to niche down into a specific area. Okay, so what I mean by this is that uh, if you are attempting to run ads in Philadelphia, right, in the city of Philadelphia, and you wanna run ads on men who are over 35 years old in Philadelphia, that's going to narrow it down quite a bit. And when you narrow things down with Facebook ads, or this really goes with any ads, with Google, YouTube, anything, uh, you're going to see that you're actually paying more per view for that because it's sort of more demand for that, right? Uh, so if you keep things broad, it's going to keep it cheaper per view, but it might not be as effective because that might not be your target audience, okay? So let's go through here and create our audience here. So location, we're gonna stick with the United States just because we're selling shoes in this example and we don't wanna do international shipping. Uh, age 18 to 65, you know, that's okay, but I don't really wanna target old people, let's say. No offense, if you're a little bit older, I don't mean that in any offense whatsoever, but for, for my example, uh, I want to, you know, maybe go for people who are interested in, in athletic Nike shoes, uh, not so much New Balance, I don't know. But let's say that we wanna go for people who are uh, up to, 50 years old. How about that? So 18 to 50. Now, like I said, this is going to, now we see to the right here, now we're only targeting about 160 million people instead of uh, what we had earlier, which was about uh, 220 or 230 million people. Uh, let's keep it to all genders here for this, uh, for the purpose of this. Uh, and then let's save this audience here, okay? So we're not really tweaking this too much. We just kind of lowered the age a little bit, so we don't want anybody over 50. Uh, that's just what we wanted to go for for this. Uh, now let's go through here and let's look at how we're actually having these placements, okay? So we're gonna click edit placements here because we wanna run Instagram ads. We're not trying to run ads on other platforms. If you do automatic placements, this is recommended, but this means that this will get put on Facebook, on WhatsApp, uh, on, on Messenger. It'll get thrown throughout Facebook's network because Facebook owns not only Instagram, they own WhatsApp, they own Messenger, they own a lot, okay? Uh, and so instead of letting them kind of put it out onto any platform out there, we are just targeting Instagram. Uh, this isn't always the best option. Sometimes I find that Facebook converts the best because there's a lot of people who have money on Facebook. Uh, generally, if you look at the demographics, people who are on Facebook are generally a little bit older today uh, versus say you're advertising on something like TikTok where everybody's like 12 years old, right? Um, so let's go with just Instagram for this because that's the purpose of this video. Uh, and then we're gonna decide how we're actually, uh, you know, 
what kind of Instagram ads we're actually going to make here. So do we want them on the explore page, Instagram feed? Uh, how, how are we doing these? Are we doing Instagram stories? Um, so let's actually not do stories. Let's just go for the Instagram feed. And maybe, you know what, we'll keep with the Instagram explore page. We have had some luck with that in the past. Okay, but we're getting rid of stories. It, it's just not something that I'm thinking would be a good option for this if we're selling shoes. Instagram stories might not be the best option. Uh, and then let's go down for what are we actually trying to do? So what is our goal here? Uh, is it link clicks? Do we want impressions? Uh, do we want just more unique reach? We want to just reach more people. Uh, and so let's go for link clicks for this because we want to get people to buy our shoes. We want to get people to our website. Uh, and so we're going to go with that. Now, how do we want to, to schedule this? Uh, so we can run your ad continuously or we can set a start and an end date. I suggest setting some type of end date. Uh, the reason for this, and you know, some people disagree with this. I've seen people disagree with this, but I always like to set an end date for an ad. And the reason for this is because if something happens, uh, say where you can't access your Facebook account or you end up in the hospital or something, and then you're just running like hundreds of dollars worth of ads every day, uh, Facebook's just going to keep charging you. Okay. Uh, they're going to keep charging you until you tell them to, to stop running this ad. So I will set an end date just for that sort of the heck of it. So let's say January 27th is a great time. We can always just continue this. We can always just extend this. It's not the end of the world. If this ad ends on January 27th and we just restart the ad. Uh, but that's just what I like to do to set that end date for ourselves. So we're going to do that and then we're going to click continue here. Okay. All right. So now we are in part three here. We've created our campaign. We've set up our ad set. Now we're actually creating the physical ad. So this is step three here. Now we're going to go up and just change the ad name. So it's not just default. Let's make this, let's call this carousel ad number one. Okay. Because as I said earlier, we're going to go with the carousel ad because we're going to be selling shoes in this example. Uh, and so we're going to make sure that it's labeled correctly so that we don't get these ads confused because we're going to want to run multiple different types uh, over the coming weeks. Okay. And so you, you're going to go down and you're going to look at carousel. So we're going to click that. And then we're going to actually have to upload some photos. So let's go scroll down a little bit further and we're going to click select image. Now this might open up some of your Facebook or your Instagram pictures already, uh, but we're going to actually have to go and upload some images here. And let's just upload this one here. And let me just upload a couple of these very quickly. And this is going to be image one of three, and then we can edit each thing here. Okay. So this is kind of a mock of what it's going to look like on the side here. So, okay. looks nice. We're selling shoes. Um, and then we can go and we can edit the wording for this. So then what we're going to want to do is go and enter our website URL. So let's say santrellshoes.com is our website, uh, and then a description. So let's say, uh, let's say new year's or Memorial day sale. Forty percent off store wide. Okay. So that is what we have there. This is our little mock-up ad. Uh, that was actually the description. I should have put that as the headline. So let me just move that to the headline. And then for our description, let's make something a little bit catchy, uh, something that we think might work. And then, like I said, uh, we can certainly tweak it and, you know, try some different wording to see what works. But I always found that, you know, free shipping worldwide is something that a lot of people find to be pretty valuable uh, and pretty attractive. So once we have that set up, uh, then we can look through this, see what else we want to add into here. But that is one of three. Okay. So then we go to number two, we select another image. So let's go through that process. Let's pick another image, continue, and then go through the same thing. Okay. So that that's number one, that's number two, right? And so let's go through this as well. So the same URL, maybe we want a different URL for that, uh, and then create this another headline, uh, and then go through and create the third one as well. So let's just do that very quickly for the sake of time. We'll just do that very quickly. And then once you have all of this set up and you've entered all the information that you would like to do, then we're going to scroll down a little bit more. Uh, and then we can actually look at some really interesting uh, options that are available to us. So there's something called Facebook pixel. Uh, this is really interesting, but this is how you can essentially retarget people. So uh, if somebody visits your website, you can have a pixel, which essentially tracks that they came to your website and then you can run ads against them. Uh, it's the same reason why if you are 
on Google or you're on a website somewhere or you're watching a YouTube video and all the ads seem very tailored to you. For example, you're looking up uh, camping gear on Google and then the next thing you know, you're scrolling on Instagram and you see like camping gear ads everywhere. That's called pixels, okay? So there's Facebook pixel that you can use to essentially track people. And we actually have a video on this if you wanna learn how to use this for your ads, but this is how you can target people who are already interested in your product. It's incredibly interested, uh, um, but it's something that you definitely want to look into. Maybe not right away, if you just wanna get your feet wet here with the ads, that you don't have to really worry about pixels, but it is something that you do want to look at uh, in the future. And then we just click confirm, and then we're essentially done with setting up our ad. That's essentially all we're gonna have to do to get started here. You're going to have to enter your payment info for this when you set up your ads manager account. So just keep that in mind. Using a credit card is totally fine. It's not going to cost you extra, some extra fees most likely. Um, and so that's essentially how we can set up these Instagram ads. Like I said earlier, it's just the three basic steps. You set up the campaign, you set up the ad sets, and then you set up the ads. And you can create ads within the ad sets. You can create uh, uh, ads within the campaign, okay? But the campaign is the overlying thing that you're promoting, the overlying company that you're promoting. And for every separate company, uh, you might wanna create a different campaign, okay? So that's how we can do this. Uh, like I said, I would suggest running multiple ads, do some split testing, start with five, 10, $15 a day uh, and see how it takes you. And if you have any questions, comments, let me know down in the comment section below. Uh, feel free to send me a DM on Instagram if you're just trying to clear, uh, 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 clear something up and you just want a quick question answered. I do my best to get back to everyone. I can't promise that I'll get back to everyone, but I really do my best. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll see everybody in the next video.